Blessings to you, Trinity Church. I'm here in the Park of Roses, and it is the beginning of July. We are grateful for so many things in life. Grateful for the beauty of creation. Grateful for friendships and fellowships. Grateful for the life of the church. We're grateful for uh, the ability to be the church in the midst of, of crisis. What is it to be the church in this coronavirus situation, this sheltering in time? Well, many years ago, a very wise Christian leader named Harry Emerson Fosdick wrote a poem that was set to the tune called Heiferdahl that has become a favorite for many of us in our worship. We know the, the, the um, hymn as God of grace and God of glory. And in it, Dr. Fosick says, grant us wisdom, grant us courage for the living of these days. The church is equipped for any crisis, any pressure and stress on it in any form when it seeks the wisdom and the courage that is made known in the life and death and resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ. And when we gather together in His name to bear witness to that commitment to live and to die and to rise again for the well-being of all creation. And so it's appropriate that I have come here and in the Park of Roses. I ask you to take seriously the crisis of this day, to look both at the health care crisis in our nation, the importance of wearing masks and staying socially distant, even when it seems like it doesn't matter anymore. Yes, it does matter here in Ohio and around the country. And also looking at the times of, of discord that surround us on every side, the, the calling out of, of racist, systemic life in our culture, ways that our society and, yes, the Episcopal Church has been engaged in, in systemic racism, to name that sin and to be repentant of it right now, starting right now, this summer, to seek ways to receive the wisdom and the courage to stand against white supremacy to stand against racist attitudes. Well, it is a wonderful opportunity to be together with you. I look forward to seeing you later this summer after a time of some refreshment with my family. And I ask that you think about Harry Emerson Fosdick's great prayer, that it become your prayer this, this season. God of grace and God of glory, grant us wisdom Grant us courage for the living of these days. 